So Google's Notebook LM's got a really handy feature called video overviews that they launched not too long ago. And you can think of these as narrated slideshows. You may already be aware of some of its other studio tools such as audio overviews and mind maps. With audio overviews, it's kind of like a podcast style and there's a host and they're kind of going like back and forward having a conversation about that particular subject. And with video overviews, this is the new feature. What it does is it creates this video. So I'll play a few segments of this. You can see the slide here. I'll click on play. All right, let's talk about something that's a huge deal in the camera world. Sony has finally dropped the Mark II version of its legendary 2470 mil. And it's not just one slide, but it will create different slides for the different topics of that subject. So you can see here. Here's the million dollar question. The original G Master was already the benchmark, right? And it also creates diagrams too, and you can see right here. 695 grams. Compare that to the Sigma at 830. Here's another slide. So important. The manual focus is now... And you can see how dynamic each of the slides are. It's not just bullet points, you know, which can tend to be pretty boring. In particular, the AI will create new visuals to help illustrate points while also pulling in images, diagrams, quotes, and numbers from your documents and sources. It makes learning, studying, or whatever you're wanting to do, whatever your goal is, a bit more engaging and more digestible. So let me show you how to use video overviews in this video. If you've never used Notebook LM before, simply head to notebooklm.google.com. Once you're in, what you want to do is create your first notebook. So we're going to click on create new, and then you'll be prompted to use your sources. It works differently to other LLMs such as Claude and ChatGPT because with Notebook LM, it actually just uses your own sources and references. So you can upload things from your Google Drive. You can link anything such as a YouTube video, a particular website, or paste in some text or just upload other formats like a PDF, text, markdown, audio, and much more. In my case, recently I was trying to research on this lens that I eventually purchased, and it's the Sony 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 G Master II. And what I did was I fed it a couple of YouTube videos and also a website link. So on the left, you can see all of the sources that you've added. You can also add more if you wish to do so. In the middle, you'll see the main chat area, and this is where you can start typing, ask questions, so that you get an answer. It's like, what is the difference between GM1 and GM2? So G Master 1, G Master 2. And then what Notebook LM will do is just use your references and sources to provide the output, as you can see. But in particular, what we're going to focus on is the video overview. So they've got this refresh look, and you can see what it looks like under Studio. If you click on Video Overview, all you need to do is click once and then it will start generating. Now, the only drawback at the moment is it does take a number of minutes to produce. I think this one here took about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, I'd say. And once it's generated, if you click on it, it will show you the preview and you can see the number of minutes that it's generated. So seven minutes, 49 seconds, which is quite comprehensive. What's also great is if you don't want to play it back from Notebook LM, and the website here, you can simply click on download and that will download a video file so that you can watch it at your own convenience. And hey, if you wanna be creative and share this with, let's say your students so they can learn that particular subject based on, of course, your sources, then this is a great way to do it, right? You download it, share it with amongst your users and peers. Overall, this is now an amazing and fun way to not only learn, but also research and study anything you want, whatever topic you want, because once again, you can add all the sources and only reference to those. So you can choose your format, whether you just want to listen and multitask at the same time, or if you do want a more visual way of learning, use video overviews. But anyway, try it out, have some fun with Notebook LM's video overviews and let me know your thoughts in the comments. In the meantime, I'll leave up a link right here to another relevant video and one right here too. So I'll see you in the next video.